shortly before the just concluded general elections, there were advocacies, roundtable discussions, series of meetings, and lobbying by women. To see how a good number of them can be actively involved in the political process and subsequently acquire key leadership roles. The outcome is, however, discouraging, which informs the decision for this roundtable by stakeholders from national and international organizations. We have um, seven women now in the Senate, but like last time in year 2015, we had seven women. The court removed two, we were left with five. Now in the House of Representatives that we had 27 in year 2011, we now had 14. There is this concern, instead of us moving forward, we are moving backwards. And we have brought different people together today to have a conversation. How can we ensure that these spaces that the women lost, that we get it back? The reality is that there are structures on ground and systems in place that keep women out. Lack of democracy within the political parties. No, we live in a patriarchal society. While assessing the role of women in disadvantaged groups, the roundtable believes that early planning and re-strategizing with continuous advocacy will address the issue in subsequent elections. I see nothing wrong for an election management body to make it compulsory for a party to submit new rules and constitutions that, for example, make provision for women representation. We can use the instrument of regulating parties to do that and ask political parties every five years to report their compliance with that. Women should take control of the process, promoting the idea of the need uh, for more women to come out and participate in the process, that women have the power, they have the capacity, but more importantly, they have the numbers. However, given a good number of women appointed positions can salvage the present damage, they say. In Abuja, Momso Damien Ati, NT News.